another thing that is certainly uh, concerning us uh, as we move forward. At this point, uh, we have ruled out no options on this. We're not sure what happened uh, to Nate. Uh, we do have uh, some divers in the water. We had divers in the water yesterday as well as today. Uh, and that concern is really just to look at all options here. Uh, it's certainly a possibility that, uh, that Nate could be lost in our fair city uh, or maybe uh, on a ride somewhere. Uh, but uh, given the information that we have at hand, uh, we are concerned uh, with the proximity of the waterfront uh, to where he was last seen. And uh, we're looking into that with dive. Uh, they are currently uh, just replenishing their air supply and they'll be back down here shortly. Uh, this has been a collaborative effort with the South Portland Dive Team as well as the U.S. Coast Guard, Marine Patrol, Harbor Patrol, and the Portland Fire Department uh, regarding the search along the coastline here. Uh, and uh, we do have the Maine State Police, uh, they're en route as well with a side scanning sonar unit, which is uh, a piece of equipment they would tow behind a boat. Uh, to get a visual, uh, more radar perspective of the bottom of you know, Casco Bay. Uh, that will allow us to expand our search uh, beyond the piers that you have here and a little further out into the waterway as well. Again, we're here primarily because we want the public's assistance in finding Nate uh, and giving us any information uh, that they may have at this point. We have received some information from the public. Uh, so thank you very much to the media uh, for getting the word out there. Uh, and obviously this is something that uh, we have a full court press on. We have uh, a great deal of resources involved in this uh, and we'll continue until we're able to uh, bring some answers uh, home to the family. What article uh, I'm just going to leave it in an article holding at this point. Uh, was it? That way we uh, don't narrow down any tips that may come in uh, later on. Uh, they had uh, a couple of friends with them and just a local establishment. Uh, that is a possibility uh, amongst others. Uh, the coastline here in Maine is cold year-round, but we're certainly not warmed up enough uh, at this point where it wouldn't be a shocking uh, entry in the water for anybody. Chief, was assuming he was, he was asked to leave because he was intoxicated, is that correct? That's correct. That's the information we have at this point. Okay, and when you said he was staying at a local establishment, was he staying at a hotel or at a friend's house? He was staying at a local hotel. Thank you. When was... The video review is a major component of the investigation right now. Uh, we are surrounded by cameras of different uh, makes and models on different locations. Uh, so we have had detectives as well as uh, uniformed police officers canvassing the neighborhood uh, throughout the day. Well, in law enforcement, uh, we don't rule out anything at this point. Uh, so anything could have happened. Uh, there's certainly a possibility that uh, he could have walked away, he could have uh, run into friends. Uh, there's a lot of different possibilities that are out there. Uh, but due to our uh, resource allocation here at the waterfront, that's certainly a, a major concern. Do you have any indication on that? Go ahead. When was the article floating down this morning or over the weekend? Uh, it was finally yesterday. Yesterday? That's correct. Do you have any evidence to suggest it was the victim of the We don't have any indication of that at this point. When was the last activity on his cell phone on the bank account? Any last activity of any kind of uh, the last contact we have in any of those uh, databases or with him on the phone uh, was right around the 1 o'clock hour, uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Have you spoken to the people that he called and are they helpful at all? Everybody's been incredibly cooperative. Uh, he was speaking to friends at that point, uh, friends that uh, truly love him and care about him, and everybody's doing the best they can to assist us in this investigation. Are they concerned about his condition? They knew he was uh, intoxicated at that point. Uh, and they were trying to make contact with him uh, and locate exactly where he was. That was uh, the focus of that last conversation. Chief, was there any reason? Uh, as you can imagine, uh, no matter what happens here, whether Nate walks in off the street and apologizes uh, for everything that's going on here, it's a very traumatic time for the family. Uh, I have had the opportunity to meet with uh, the parents as well as uh, Nate's wife. Uh, and they're doing the best they can, uh, given the circumstances. It's a scary time uh, for everybody, but they're very strong, caring folks, uh, and I wish I had the opportunity to meet them under different circumstances. Chief, is there any reason to believe that he might have been despondent or suicidal from those conversations? Beyond the, the drunkenness, was family concerned about
about what he was saying. No, there's no information to lead us down that road at all. We did have dogs searching the area down here. We have no uh, no plausible information that, uh, that they located anything at this time. Just to get a sense of the timeline, so make sure I'm correct, he left here around 12.20, the last phone call you had with, from him or the last contact was home at 1 o'clock? It was right in that general area. That's all. Did he give any indication to his friends that he was lost or couldn't find his way? Uh, he did uh, describe a, a local downtown building uh, to kind of give us a point of reference, a landmark, uh, if you will, but they're not familiar with the area. Either. What was he saying? Like, I don't know where I am, like, see this? Uh, he was saying, I am in front of this building right now, which is not uncommon for somebody that may be, uh, maybe in fact lost, uh, to give a landmark in hopes that uh, somebody else is not going to that. Where was that? Uh, it was on commercial street here, long commercial street. Camilla? Are you going to tell us what it was? No. <laughs> okay. Thanks for asking. He said he left at 12.20 or 12.25. 12.20. And the friends chose to stay. Or they didn't leave with him. He left alone. The friends uh, had, had no information that he had left when he did. Uh, so they were separated. They had no information. The friends he was talking to were the two guys that he had been in the bar with? Yes. Phone calls were with the two buddies that were up here. Nobody in Boston. Or... Um, I don't have that information. Okay. There's somebody from outside of town. Okay. Is there any ground search um, planned in connection with this um, in these areas? We, we had uniform officers out uh, throughout last night, and I would expect that we'll do that again today. Uh, family and friends are also kind of combing uh, the neighborhood uh, in hopes that uh, they'll also be able to uh, give us some information on these. Well-being and his vocation. Friends of Officer Glory earlier on we kind of anticipated. So, did they wait to call you for mine? Did they search themselves in the early morning hours? I don't believe so. No, I don't believe they searched uh, in the early. Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Spelling your last name. S A U S C H U C K. You're welcome. Thank you.